I'm constantly looking around me and being amazed at what I see. When you slow down and listen and look and smell and touch, there's a tremendous amount of nuance and complexity there to appreciate. Humans are having a tremendous influence on our planet. Science is helping us understand the extent of that impact and also revealing a lot that we can do to change the course that we're on. This is Focus Culture, exploring the power of organized passion and creative thinking to make a difference in the world. At a time when science education is more important than ever before, the California Academy of Sciences is pursuing a lofty mission to explore, explain, and sustain life on Earth. Located in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park, the Academy is a beloved natural history museum, an aquarium, a planetarium, and also home to more than 100 research scientists. We asked Tamara Schwartz, the Academy's Director of Exhibit Development and Strategic Planning, to walk us through their innovative exhibit, Giants of Land and Sea, and show us how it all came together. The answer might surprise you. We spent about two years developing this exhibit. Deadlines are a constant part of our exhibit development process. You know, two years sounds like a long time, but there's a lot of moving parts in an exhibit. It's about 8,000 square feet, it's close to 200 natural history specimens in it, about 25 different media and interactive components, hundreds of images. It's a very collaborative process to create an exhibit. There are dozens of people involved from designers and writers and researchers and just countless decisions along the way. Using Evernote has given us a way to keep track of the progress that everybody's making, share updates quickly and easily, get feedback on things. You know, you go from having this massive information and all of these possibilities to having to narrow down and make choices. We knew that we wanted to display a giant section of a redwood tree. It fell in a winter storm in 2017. We had to figure out how to actually get a piece of it from the forest to the museum, which was quite an undertaking. We want everyone to leave with a sense of excitement and curiosity and wonder about the natural world. To really be inspired to appreciate the beauty and all of the weird and wonderful aspects of the natural world. When we open our minds to nature, we learn more about ourselves, our place in the world, and our responsibility as a species. But it all begins with discovery. And for the California Academy of Sciences, focusing on that childlike sense of wonder is what matters most. This is Focus Culture.